Hey, it's Carol Roth, and welcome to Make Your Pitch. And today we are talking about Hesse Tobacco, an organic cigarette company. Now, that may seem a little bit strange and contradictory to you, but David Slade did a really good job of pointing out the type of customer who might be interested in a product that is socially conscious, even if it does pollute the atmosphere and your lungs. He talks about someone that I'm calling a hipster, somebody who's young, who shops at the farmer's market, who rides the fixed gear bicycle. And I totally get a picture of who this person might be. However, I don't have a clear enough picture on the scope of the opportunity. While he did cite 40 million smokers that consume 15 billion packs of cigarettes and 20 million in the target age range, I still don't know what percentage of those are of this hipster mold and would pay the premium. I give David a lot of credit in terms of taking some of the key objections and turning them into strengths. The fact that taxes make people less inclined to smoke also does give rise to the appeal of a premium product. So I understand that taxes raising the overall cost of cigarettes means a premium organic product isn't that much further out of reach. So I do think that somebody could take some market share with that. He also talks a little bit about the limited competition, and that's from one company called American Spirit that is the only major organic cigarette company. Now, they do lose credibility because they're part of R.J. Reynolds' tobacco, com tobacco company, but on the other hand, one thing that wasn't addressed is that obviously R.J. Reynolds has a lot of resources and great distribution. And distribution is my question, where are you going to sell these cigarettes? Because I can't really imagine them at Whole Foods markets. Of course, also don't know how these are being produced and how much money that they're making off of them. So I think that there are some other numbers. And I also have to say that on the pitch standpoint, I did not love the visual from the pitch, the gentleman smoking in a very hip way with the narrator over it seems somewhere between pretentious and kind of creepy for me. I want to see who this entrepreneur really is and get a sense that this is somebody who can really go out and tackle what could be a very large market. So I really wanted to engage with David instead of watch a kind of weird Mad Men-esque type of commercial. So from my standpoint, theoretically, if, if given all of that, I might be inclined to take a meeting. But one thing you have to know about investors is you have to know your audience. And in this particular audience, I'm an anti-smoking advocate, so I would personally never invest in a tobacco company. So that clears it off my plate, but I do think that there are some merits for the right type of investor. So those are my thoughts on Hestia Tobacco. Would love to hear your thoughts. Please share them on the blog.